The transition back into society is not easy for veterans to the point where some of them take their own lives. So today in Lansing, community members and veterans gathered to talk about how to keep vets from making this life altering decision. Our Rachel Ramsey went to the event and she's here for you now with more. Rachel. Sherry, in 2022, over 6,000 veterans died by suicide in the U.S. During the conference organized by the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, I talked with veterans about their personal experiences with mental health and suicide. Uh, August 7th, 1999, I decided life wasn't worth living no more, and that's when my first attempt occurred. Veteran Douglas Brinker recalls his mental health after serving, attempting suicide twice. He joined the military hoping to find his tribe, but rather he found bullies. It just, it compounded more and more, where to the fact that I kind of lost really a reason so to speak. Recent studies show suicide rates for veterans are over 50% higher than non-veterans. We do a great job in America taking care of our health from the neck down, but we, we don't do such a great job from the neck up, and, and that's where we need to change. So today at the Hanna Community Center, mental health and the stigma surrounding it was discussed. That's why Brinker offers support to veterans going through the same. He reminds veterans that there are many resources available to help. It's okay not to be okay, but it's important for all of us to know that there is hope helping one person every day and that you do matter always. During the conference, health officials heavily stress that if you feel someone is thinking of suicide, have the conversation, break the stigma and do not hold back. We say talk saves lives and it's and it's statistically shown that that's true. If you say, hey, are you thinking about suicide? Believe it or not, it's opening that door to that individual that may be con contemplating it. That little voice in the head um, might be like, oh, this guy gets me. I'm, yeah, I can talk about it. A little bit. And that's and that's where you make that connection. And whether you're a veteran or not, if you're considering suicide, help is just a phone call away. Just dial three digits, 988, and you'll have someone to talk to who can find resources to help you. Sherry.